recording, but <clears throat> I'm driving right now. But anyways, welcome back to another Worthless Mutts. I am Gore the Dog Butcher. Uh, back again to, you know, speak about and against and to shine the light on these worthless mutts, the dogs, this dog industry, dog owners, dog lovers, the dog media, which hides, supports, and promotes information regarding the dog. Um, first off, uh, my uh, computer, you know, has been it has been giving me issues for quite some time. Um, had the the computer since uh, 2016, and you know I've, I've done so much on that computer, so much information. Uh, it's, it's that computer was like you know <laughs> like my um, I don't know. It, it, was, it was like my everything. You know, everything had everything on there. And the, the, that day, I, I dreaded. I really dreaded that day that the computer crashed. My computer crashed and pretty much lost all um, all my apps. I've lost all my bookmarks of uh, dog subjects that I wanted to discuss. Uh, so that's now out of the equation. Uh, I, I dreaded this day. Most things I saved, most things were recovered, but overall, all the things that I wanted to discuss have now been erased, so I'm not sure if this, you know, the dog lovers prayed for this day against Gore, or Gore the dog butcher. But nevertheless, we are living in various cultures, we are living in various cultures. No doubt. But one in particular culture that we have been living in for a very I'm recording. Driving. This is, uh, I'm sure I am. Anyway, so okay, we are living in uh, various cultures, and one particular culture that we are living in is the dog culture. It doesn't matter where you're from. From the, you know, the Americas, the Canadurpas, as in Canada, uh, UK, Australia, India, China, Korea, Japan, uh, even in uh, Af places in Africa, South America. It doesn't matter. The dog culture is alive and well around the whole entire world. You may be asking, hey, if you hate dogs so much, why are you still talking about them so often and so much? It seems like you have an obsession over dogs. I think that's a great question. Why am I always discussing and talking about dogs if I hate dogs? I am discussing and talking and making videos regarding these dogs to help bring awareness and to help bring an end to this dog culture. To help bring an end to dog nuttery. If 
it's, it's okay. It's like, think of this whole gun control issue. Or this whole abortion issue. Or uh, this whole super real pandemic issue. If they didn't spam and repeat things over and over and over for years and years and years, then no one would have known about it. No one would have followed any um, guidelines or rules. Um, No one would care. So what do they do? They repeat it over and 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 over again. over again so you as dog nuts or maybe you're neutral can't say hey I'm being too obsessive over this dog culture you can't say that while you follow obey and you're compliant to the media the government's you know rules pandemics gun control And you probably say nothing about that, but you just follow. But here comes a little guy. Here comes Gore the Dog Butcher. And all of a sudden, you have a problem with me repeating myself regarding these dogs. It is by far bogus and outrageous for anyone to complain about anyone bringing awareness while them at the same time have been manipulated by the media and government tactics about other things like I've just stated And that leads us to the government, law enforcement, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're here, you know, as, as, as what we've been taught, uh, law enforcement. Government is here to protect us, to keep us safe. We have the government around to tell us what to do in order to keep everyone very safe. The government for the last three years have kept us really safe against this super real pandemic. They told us to stay inside. They told us to stand um, six feet apart to keep safe. We gotta wear our, you know, face masks to keep safe. Um, And all the other junk the government told us to do in order to keep safe. The government truly does care about our lives. Care so much that they have been uh, for a long time wanting to control the guns, wanting to take the guns off the street. That's how much they want us to keep safe. They want us to give up our guns give up our gun rights to keep everyone safe. The government, whether it's federal, municipal, or state governments, they've created many laws, many rules and guidelines to keep us safe because the government truly does care 
they care about our well-being. If the government did not care about us, they wouldn't be repeating the same thing over and over again. And they wouldn't have laws in place in order to keep us safe. Rules are put in place for a reason. Rules are put in place for order, for safety, uh, you know, to avoid any problems, conflict, uh, to keep everyone safe and happy. The government is is like our, our friend. Uh, our greatest friend because they really care about us they do if the government did not care about us why would they have so many laws why would they allow various Food regulations take place. The, the government truly does care about our safety. They've created these laws and rules in order to keep us safe. They, they want to take our guns off, our, off the streets, out of our hands, to keep us safe. The government does not like it when we are hurting each other. They don't like to see us dying. The government does not want to see us dying. The government doesn't want to see us sad and unsafe and scared and living in fear. They don't want that. Which is why they create rules. They intervene and they create rules in order to again, once again, to keep us safe and in order. Um... They know what's best for us. And not just the government, but the media and the government. They go hand in hand. Without the media, how would we know about certain laws or rules or new changes? How would we know about certain COVID cases? How would we know about, you know, getting vaccinated? How would we know about all these shootings? How would we know about hey, there's an accident on the, the highway, so you can't go that way. How would we know about the weather if it wasn't for the media? The government and media, they do truly care about our, your well-being. They do. If they didn't, why on earth would they be so good at what they do? Why on earth would we be in order? Three years, for example, we've been in order. The government said, hey, don't do this, don't do that, you gotta do this, virtual learning, etc., etc., all to keep us safe. And the media let us know what's happening. But Why? But, 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 but the, again, the, there, there is so much um, you know, and there's no way we can say the government is hypocritical or they contradict themselves. There's no way we can say that. There's no way. The government is not hypocritical. The government does not contradict themselves. The government knows what's best. They know what they're doing. The government knows what they are doing. The government is smart. But 
they have engineered the government and the media municipal, state, or even federal when something isn't right and people are dying and people are unsafe they take action they use the media to let us know again they make laws and etc and they have marches and you know they talk to several people it's on various media, plat media platforms YouTube, NBC, CNN everyone knows the happenings of what is going on in this world, in your city in your states in your country, etc, etc but why? After dog attack, after dog attack, killings or injury or uh, brutal, uh, I don't know the word for it, but brutal injuries have taken place. The government and the media is, has, the government hasn't done anything and the media is very quiet and subtle about what's going on regarding the dog. Sure, the government does have, you know, dog laws, such as keep your dog on a leash or pick up your dog shit. If your dog does bite someone, sometimes they will take your dog and they will kill your dog. And the media, they will, you know, quietly, subtly, let everyone know of a dog attack. I'm talking about the news media, they, they do. They will have like a little tiny blurb in like the smallest heading for maybe a day. And um, that's it. Maybe a little video, a little blurb, and that's it, and they move on. Some of these news medias who promote dog attacks, who report dog attacks, sometimes they will even, you know, interview pro-dog or pro-pitbull people. They will interview the owner. And instead of stating the facts, they state their opinion. They are pro-dog. They always are for the dog. They defend the dog. They add excuses. And uh, end of story. Oftentimes, the reporter will even pet a dog. The reporter will go and get a pit bull and still pet the pit bull. And even after a pit bull attack, they will still go and pet a pit bull, have the pit bull in the view, and you know, film all the, the good, sweet stuff, make it look cute for the viewers. Sure, the media will sometimes state the facts of so and so pit bull attack, but then they'll turn around and, and show a like a a positive video of the pit bull or of a dog. Never once in the mainstream media, I'm talking the CNNs, NBCs, the Foxes, like mainstream even some independent, even some of the low uh, in the low ma media uh, news media, you never see them talking to anti-dog people or dog haters or anti-pit bull people. You never, really never, and if they do, they don't put it in the news. They don't put it in the article or in their video. I've never seen that happen. Any time and every time. The 
the media has been pro dog and pro pit bull. Even after a pit bull attack, even after a pit bull has killed a child or a baby, they will interview people that will say the dog was sweet. Oh, I never seen the dog do that. The owner will say he never did that. He was a sweet dog. End of story. End of story. Now we just, you know, crawl up in our little caves or in our holes, clog our ears, put our beer ahead underneath the sand, and just move on. After the over the millionth time that a baby or a child or any individual has been killed by a pit bull or any dog, we just have to bury our head in the sand and, and ignore it. And again, like I was saying, the government knows what's best for us. The government wants to keep us safe. Governments want to keep us safe from foreign and domestic threats. The government allows their own people to travel to various countries to keep us safe. The government will put out agents and special services and tactics in the city, urban areas, uh, in various places in order to keep us safe. But why, I ask, is dog culture in full throttle? Dog culture and pit bull culture, why are they in full throttle? Why hasn't the government spoken up? Why haven't they done anything keep us safe from these dogs nothing sure sometimes they will fine and charge owners but the problem still remains it's like maybe a bad example you're buying an egg carton all eggs are rotten but you take out only one egg, one rotten egg, and you think everything is fine. Does that make sense? Does that solve the issue? No. If all eggs are rotten, you put all eggs in the trash. You eliminate the same with dog culture. Just eliminating one rotten egg, aka the dog, doesn't solve the problem. The problems still remain because year after year, month after month, week after week, day after day, city to city, country to country, place to place, dog attacks, dog injuries, dog deaths still occur. And the government wants to keep us safe does absolutely nothing in order to keep us safe in regards to dogs. Nothing. They do nothing. Nothing has been done. If you look at the stats, dog attacks and pit bull attacks have been on the increase. They've been more frequent. But the government hasn't said or done a single thing to eliminate these dogs. Worldwide, I'm talking worldwide. Some places in terms of dogs have it better than others and in the you know the US US, we don't see a pack of stray dogs in the streets. But in the US, dog culture is still pretty awful. And you go to, let's say, China or India, 
they have a, you know, pack of stray dogs in the streets. But maybe they're, again, maybe their domesticated dog loving isn't as bad as the U.S. But end of the day, it's still dog culture. It's still dog nuttery. One place may have it better than the one place may have it a little better than the better than the rest. One place may have it worse than the rest. It happens. It, 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 ha- it is. That's true. That's fact. And I'm grateful for where I am, where there's not a lot of stray dogs on the street. I don't know what I would do though. Don't know what I would do. But my respects goes out to the anti-dog people that um, have to live in places with stray dogs. My respects, my gratitude, my uh, just, just gotta survive, man. You you gotta survive. to survive um, I, I feel for you guys all if, if, if I was um, you know the mighty Thor I would go to your countries and smite all the stray dogs off the streets I would but since I don't have that power nothing I can, other than pushing this message against dogs and my hatred for dogs I mean and, and it takes not just one person or a couple people, it takes a mass a massive of people, a mass of people to make change to do something it does and all my other dog haters, you gotta step up. Dog lovers, you gotta you gotta stop with this dog nonsense. And our govern government, our beloved government that wants to keep us safe, that cares so much about us, you gotta do something about these dogs. You gotta do something. And that something is to get rid and eliminate these dogs from our society, from our streets, our countries, our cities, our towns, our homes. You go on the news and talking about gun control, about children dying from guns, people dying from guns, how it's always about, the, how it's all, all, all about the children, children, keep our children safe, keep them safe, you say it over and again, media again, media too, government media is, you know, you say it over again, keep, keep, keep children safe, 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 keep children safe. But in terms of dogs, it seems like the government and the media they don't care they just don't care about the children about the babies the seniors about adults young teens young adults regarding these dogs it just seems like that If somehow you ended up on this video, somehow you ended up.
ended up on this video, please, please, like you say, march for change or change or keep safe. If you really believe in that safety argument and you really care, and you truly care about the children and the babies and people and you want to keep everyone safe. You'll You'll do the right thing. And Help eliminate dogs. We keep dogs off the streets from country to country, place to place. If you really truly believe in safety and happiness and all the things you say, media and government, do the right thing. Do the right thing. And eliminate these dogs, take action, and speak up against these dogs. No more pro dogs or pro, um, no pro dogs nonsense. No pro pit bull. Stop only interviewing pro dog people. Stop doing it. Stop it. Because you, you, you get no progress interviewing the same people over and over again, getting the same results. You report these attacks, but you get the same results and nothing's changing. That's like told this whole pandemic. It's like just whispering. It's like it's like if you just whispered wanting change, nothing would happen. That's why you repeated things over and over. News, radio, TV, bulletin boards, pamphlets over and over again. So people would know. So please. Government, news media, media, young, old, dog lovers, dog haters, neutral people, whoever you are, please help end this dog culture. This is another worthless mutts. And remember, it is okay to hate dogs. Thank you for watching.